Good Saturday morning, my friends. I guess it's sort of the second Saturday in our nation since the coronavirus really hit. Um, it's been quite a week, hasn't it? Um, I thought, I just wanted to tell you all about um, my yesterday, my Friday. Um, first of all, I guess I should give a shout out to my scarf. I thought I would put on a scarf, even though usually I'm just wearing beanies around here. But, um, since, uh, my family, y'all asked me to, uh, you should wear a scarf when you, um, are with us on any kind of video. So here, here we are. This is just a scarf normal scarf, so pretty though, that I wrapped around my head. So it looks a little turban-y. So anyway, um, so everything's, you know, so heavy coronavirus. Um, and it, with cancer, it's so weird. My life was book one, cancer journey. Now book two, coronavirus and cancer journey. Um, so trying to navigate all that and how it's affecting things. Anyway, well, Thursday, so Thursday was, you know, heavy with all of that as we're all feeling, um, the disorientation. Um, Thursday night though, I got um, word that there had been a very sad and tragic uh, personal uh, loss in, our work community, the counseling center that I work with, and um, that we would be having an emergency meeting at 8 a.m. the next morning, not to make coronavirus kinds of policy changes, which they had been working on, but this was specifically to come together and discern um, and be together in the midst of this um, tragedy related to to our, um, the people in our group. So uh, I woke up early Friday morning so that I could just center myself and hope, open myself for the Lord to feed me because I knew I just was hungry for that. I know I, I knew I needed him. Also Thursday night we had gotten a text from my brother-in-law who's a doctor who wanted us to see about getting this medication that may uh, help with coronavirus and to try to get it soon because it may run out and things like that. It was just, you know, heavy. So anyway, I got up that morning and I, during Lent, I have been doing a regular, um, I have this devotional that I'm following so that I know what I'm going to be reading. So it keeps me reading scripture because I'm not always very consistent with that. So I the reading for that for yesterday morning was Romans 8, 18 through 25. And I was like, oh my gosh, Lord, thank you so much. This is incredible. Because it was all about that the whole earth is groaning under um, sin and death and decay. And there was, there was a death in our group. Um, there had been a tragic accident. And so death was part of the groaning for us. Um, so, but also just all the suffering in our world right now. So it was the perfect passage because it was so honest about um, the hardship, the suffering that we are all under on this planet. And yet it was filled with hope too. Um, so I just want to read a couple of things. It said, uh, yet what we now suffer is nothing compared to the glory he will reveal to us later. It's like, oh, perspective. The suffering isn't everything. The glory will come. Um, and uh, as believers, we groan also, even though we have the Holy Spirit within us as a foretaste of future glory. So I just thought, oh my goodness, yes, the very Spirit of God is, is with me and in me. And he is a foretaste right now, right now, 
I have a foretaste of that glory. I don't have to just be in this suffering. Um, in the last words, which this is a different version than I usually read. That's what I'm doing right now. And so it said, we must wait patiently and confidently. And that word confidently really stuck out to me. Um, so anyway, our meeting together was so beautiful. Um, our, um, our leader has the same kind of thoughts she brought from Habakkuk. Um, you know, I see you can look in Habakkuk 3 um, if you like, but, um, and we were all very honest about our feelings, also um, spurring each other to really trust that God is sovereign and knows what he's doing. And so it was really, really wonderful uh, time together. So that's how I started my day. I was very intense, but also very uh, strengthening. And um, so the rest of the day, I didn't feel too good. I was starting to, the end of my chemo week, I, I start to drag and I'm dragging today. I've already slept uh, this morning, uh, but I had to make a gumbo because I had bought the stuff and now we have to cook for ourselves because we it's better not to take food in from other people or restaurants. <laughs> so I had to push all afternoon. I was pushing to get this gumbo made and I didn't have enough roux in a jar, if any of you know what that is. So I um, had to make my own roux, which is very, very, it took an hour. Uh, and that's the start of the gumbo. And so it was tiring and I was very tired, but our family did another Zoom call at happy hour. So even though I was tired and I was still cooking, it was so good to have them in the background there with me in my home. It was so, so encouraging. Um, and then um, a young couple in our church, their, um, Craig married them in September and they're our dear friends. They had asked us, do you want us to go shopping for you? So. Um, they weren't able to get in touch with me for a while. And so anyway, they ended up shopping in the evening and coming around nine o'clock. And so it ended our evening with their love for us, dropping off groceries in the garage and um, staying six feet back. And we talked and I stayed back in the house some, but we talked about what it's like out there and what how they're experiencing things and how we are. And it was just a wonderful connection and actually seeing physical bodies was great. So my day was, you know, a big old mix of um, pain, a lot of pain. I continued to feel the heaviness of loss and um, potential fear. And, um, but also the presence, the very presence of God with me. That's what I kept, um, taking some time, a moment here and there to try with my brain on steroids and, but to quiet and remember that God, like just to pray, yes, you, you're with me. Oh, hi, hi, yes. And I'd step outside and just hear the birds or, you know, any kind of the trees rustling and just, that's right. There's more than the media and the coronavirus and there's so much more um, and there's love love you this was fun like to hear back from any of you wonder what's going on with all of you